All right. Oh. I'm hurt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the RISI Lynx. Let's uh, take a quick look. This is my first time. Look at this ship. I mean, the vehicle. Look at the logos. Lynx. It looks beautiful. The wheel looks fancier. Well, of course, I put artricians for this uh, vehicle as well. So the excess is on the left side. Ooh. Wow, it looks like the, the door is nice. The animation is really cool. It lowers it, and then you have uh, stairs here. Nice. Wow, so this is... It's not a lot of room, a lot of space. Oh, what? You have a champagne? No way, can you drink that? Please. Oh, you cannot drink. But uh, you can uh, you can put it here. So let's take a look at these. Ah, you have a computer here. And this one. Okay, so these are the components. We're going to try to t see if we can take them out later. And uh, that's close. Let me see, what is this one? It's middle one and the bottom one. There we go, never mind. You have a weapons locker. I think it's the middle one. So these are look like uh, for your size 1 and size 2 weapons. The real gun you cannot put here, or rocket launcher, size 3. Okay, nice. Chair. So you have two very nice... Oh, wait a second. Oh, guys, we have waters. Uh, <laughs> this vehicle, nice. Cool, good to know. We have water, but we don't have any chocolate bars or energy bars or anything. Just waters. You also have, uh, I think this is a fire distinguisher. Soon it's going to be available. Look at the logo on the... Wait, one, one second. Why there is another bottle of champagne on the floor? Is this a welcome gift? Thank you. I'll grab it. I like it. Very luxurious look. I wish there's more neon lights around. Maybe we need to turn the ship on. So, oh, maybe we can uh, turn the lights on and off here. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. This is uh, look like a, a luxurious BMW. Oh, this is the emergency light, I think, this one over here. Yeah, and then this is another light. You can actually switch different neon light colors. Change to another color. Wow, so this is a purple. This is a... Uh, This is yellow. Very, very nice. Okay. So this is the driver's seat. You have... Wow, look at the sun over here. This The moon roof is really nice. Okay, I'm going to turn the ship on. Let's uh, take a look. Open, unlock, unlock. Self-destruct. No, let's not do that yet. Engine on and off. Exit. And then you can... Oh, I like it. You can uh, switch these screens. It's This is a must. And you have speed. We're going to check out the speed in a little bit. I think this is open the door and close the door. And you can control from the pilot seat. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, use the remote. There we go. Inter remote turret right here. So the pilot can uh, use the remote turret. And the co-pilot seat. Let's see. What do you have? Co-pilot seat. You have a screen as well. Let's... Power on. Nice. And you have screens that you can uh, play around with. You also have inter-remote turrets. There we go. Copilot C can use the turret as well. Alright, now let's go check the lights. This is... Oh, you do have different colors. I think this is an uh, emergency light, but I really like this kind of uh, blinking reddish color. Orange color. So click this one. And then you have this uh, purple light. Light bulb, really, really nice. Okay, let's sit on this uh, this chair. I'm gonna turn my eye tracking on. Wow, look at the moon roof over here. A moon roof over here. This uh, looks like this is, oh, you have a, a screen, I think, over here. Uh, it does not open. Okay, let's check this one. Oh, this is even cooler. You, you turn your chair over here. 
now you can have much better views. Definitely, uh, this is cool. Okay, uh, let's turn over here. I does not listen to controls now. Oh, uh, I can't turn. Let me see if I can get out of the seat. I cannot get out of the seat. Okay, I am bugged here. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, so the seat will trap you and uh, you will not be able to get up. All right, captain's here for the rescue again. Hopefully she can uh, free me from this chair. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, you can't release a ship like this. I hope they can fix this soon. Let me try again. No, after like 20 minutes, I've been sitting here. <laughs> Still not able to uh, free myself. Okay, we're outside the armistice zone. Uh, I need to get punched. Yep. Uh oh. No! No! What? I'm not losing health or anything. I am not getting hit. No. I'm not getting hit. Okay, so this will be a problem. Well, the only thing right now I can do is to self-destruct the vehicle. Yeah, and then come back. Oh, run! Captain, run! <laughs> oh, no. oh! What a beautiful vehicle! This is not the first look that I am expecting. All right, I am back from the dead. <laughs> All right, let's continue our first look. There are two more things, actually three more th little things I want to test out. First is the top speed. So the RSI Link is a little bit faster than the Rover. As you can see, the top speed, we can reach about 2930 meters per second. That's pretty good. And you can see it's... uh. And then the sound is a lot better than the rover. The rover is loud. And this one is very, it's quieter, but it, it give you like a little bit luxurious feeling for this really nice, a joy to drive. Just don't sit in the back seat yet until they fix that. Wait, hold on a second. Something is damaging the ship. Wow, you can see the water bottles. Oh, it's already damaged the sh the the vehicle already. The horn, you can hear it when you're driving in third person mode, but in your driving in first person mode, you don't hear the horn at all. Okay. Well, I think the water bottle it's damaged. Uh, oh, you can see the back of the ship. The vehicle is damaged. It's not safe to have all, all those water bottles on the vehicle when you drive it. All right, paint time. This paint has been ruined. All right, so before we do the paint, uh, let's check out the spawn timer for the Lynx. So, if you want to claim it, it takes 3 minutes and 9 seconds to do the regular claim. So, it takes about 1300 AUEC to expedite it. And the expedite timer is uh, close to 1 minute. Yep, yeah, so even if you expedite it, uh, you will still have to wait 1 minute to get your vehicle. All right, guys, so these are the three paints that's available for the new RSI Lynx. The first one, I think it's called uh, Moonrise. Yes, it's Moonrise. Um, well, it's very dark, so I have to use a light. It's uh, more like a chrome color, silver, a little bit metallic, shinier, silver. And the middle one is called Nebula. It's uh, kind of like a plum color. And then the last one is called Moon Shadow. Uh, I don't know about that name, but uh, looks like uh, it's kind of like a white and blue tone. 
Yeah, I think I really like the moon shadow paint. I don't really like the nebula. It's just my personal preferences. And uh, the moon rise is actually pretty good. All right, guys. So this is it for the first look of the new RSI Lynx. Just uh, be very careful. Don't sit on the back seat until they fix it. Other than that, this vehicle looks great. And you can see the moon roof and the back window and the side window looks awesome. You can do a lot of uh, really nice explorations with it and then cool cinematics. But also be careful. Uh, take out the waters and the champagnes before you start driving this vehicle because they sometimes they will damage the ship. I don't know if it's because of desync or just server problem, but uh, it damaged my lovely paints. And these are the three paints also available for this vehicle. Pretty good choice. And then you can see this. Actually, the window color is also different for different paints, I think. Maybe these two are the same, but uh, this one, I really like this color. So, yeah. All right, guys. So let me know what your thoughts on the uh, new RSL links. Have you tried it? And do you like it? And then uh, what do you think about it? And next video, I am going to do the vehicle detaching and attaching for all the ground vehicle. That's why I put all the ground vehicles here and I'm still working on it. It's going to take me a while. If you are interested in those uh, ground vehicles attaching and detaching, um, please stay tuned and then check out my next video. All right, guys. Thank you. I will see you in the next one. Bye.